Okay, so the first thing we do if, in the event of having to re-rate the bunker completely, we try and find the bottom row on the bunker, bring it round, and we're looking for that consistent level around the whole bunker so it follows the same revetting row around the whole bunker. And then when we're pushing the sand up to that row, we're looking it to be dished ever so slightly so the ball will roll down inches from it, correct? Yeah, we, we yeah. don't want it to be flat yeah. to the surface. We're, we're allowing for a little bit of ball there. That's why it takes us 10 hours in the morning to rate the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll look if it's all even, looks even to, to me there. So now we try and pull some sand from the back, but not too much, towards the front of the bunker. yourselves being experienced green keepers when the sand's consistent across the bunker. Probably be about generally looking for about that sort of depth of fluffiness on the green here. Typically we would want fairway bunkers and like we're asking really just to restore as I'm saying but where possible we would want the rake marks just to be going down the line of the hole for uh, fairway bunkers and then to the middle of the green for uh, the green side bunkers but again the, the key thing is not too much in the way of ridging just really taking out trying to level things back up um, and then just uh, on the so the last bit now is to pick the, you want all the right lines to go towards the centre of the green. So in this bunker it will be looking in between the open clubhouse writing and the flag. Try and get as close as we can to the revetting and slowly pull back. Try and do two passes on the smaller bunkers and three on a bigger bunker. This is going to end up being three.
kick your feet as you get out so the sand don't go onto the walking. Trying to keep all the lines of the rake as even as you possibly can do going towards your target. obviously a full restore there so unless someone has an absolute meltdown on the course <laughs> uh, we won't be required to do that so Chris are you happy just to yeah. kick a bit as if someone's played a shot and then just go for go for how you kind of smooth it back over and get it back in play I think we'd have to bear in mind as well as even if someone does have a meltdown there's going to be a group ready to play back in so you ain't going to have the 10 minutes that Chris took to do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're doing in the morning. Uh, so it would be, I mean, you would just want to get it like, playable for the, uh, for the next group. Really. Right, so as you say, look for a bit of the green. Push forward slightly. And then right back to smooth. In terms of when to get in, you know, if, one, if, if the players played out and the players are doing their preparations on the green and you think that's a, a chance to get in, I would get in and try and, and just start even if you can't finish. Um, as I said, one thing that we get in, even as referees, we try, we're told to try and stay out of the camera lines as much as possible. So if you're going to be in a direct line of the camera, then we'll just wait until um, those players are out of the way. Um, but I would say as soon as players do start, you know, standing over putts and whatnot, then that's when we'll, we'll just stop. Um, but the key thing, as I said, is really just, if you feel that you do need a bit more time, just let the referee know. Just speak to them, introduce yourself at the start. They'll introduce themselves to you. And um, if you need a bit more time, let them know, and they will just simply stand and hold you <coughs> behind. So you, you'll, have, you'll have that time now. So, one other thing, and I'm sure you've all probably seen the 17th hole here, we've got that lovely sandy waste area behind the, the green. Um, so for that this week, we're not going to have that raked, well, not tooth raked, but we will ask you if someone does go in there just to smooth that back over. Um, so just flat rake that. Uh, and that would be it. So really just getting the footprints out of the way, and then we'll, again, on our way. Again, thank you all very much. I hope you have a great week. Enjoy yourselves. And uh, yeah, war proofs for the weekend. Thank you. <laughs>